Good morning everybody and welcome to day three of my life in Korea. Before we go on with the video, I just want to say like I am really sorry about the washing machine sound behind me. I knew I was going to film this but I didn't really think it through and I just pressed play on the washing machine and immediately as I pressed play I was like, oh my god, it's going to be annoying in the video. So I'm sorry about that but let's just try and ignore it. I am filming this morning because normally I'm like in a rush super late but today i got ready quite early so i have a few minutes just to sit down relax look out at this beautiful view i'm really enjoying myself the first time that i came to live in korea was in 2012 which was like 10 years ago and obviously it's changed a lot since then so it's hard to kind of keep up i feel very behind in a way and also an outsider which of course is understandable but i don't even know if i can career anymore like i was anxious getting the subway for the first time and i feel anxious paying for stuff i'm like is this gonna go through like what if there's a problem what if i don't fully understand what they're saying but having not been here for three years because of the pandemic it's like i am just adjusting again yeah i'm trying to like figure it out I don't know, it just feels different. Obviously this time around, some of my friends are work well, most of my friends are working actually, whereas before, some of them were, some of them weren't. None of them are students anymore, so it's completely different. Like, I'll have to wait till I finish work to see them. So, it's not all bad stuff, and I'm really, really enjoying spending time with my family. I definitely could see myself living here, but obviously now that I'm married, it's not just my decision. It feels good to be back, and it feels different to be back, and it's a mixed bag of emotions. Today I'm seeing one of my friends from university. I think we're gonna have some noodles today and after that I'm then gonna go and see my sister again so I hope that you enjoy following me around. I know in my previous vlog I wasn't really spit like saying much I guess I was just like filming what we we're doing and I want to be a little bit more engaged in my vlog today so let's see how that goes. So yesterday I was in like this like, kind of bright mint green dress and my sister was like nobody wears colors like that here so today i'm just trying to blend in a little i'm in a little bit more of a casual outfit today so hopefully i don't look you know too weird i am obsessed with this switch here just before i leave the house all lights off love it i just love shopping in korea it's just insane i wanted to get a toy for my nephew but the ages of all of these are three plus so i'm not gonna buy anything and risk danger to him. I'm just kind of worried about that. So I'm really grateful for any of the friends who still want to meet me. So I've bought my first round of rolls and I'm giving all my friends that I'm meeting a perfume. This is my favorite perfume that I use myself and a postcard. So I'm just getting that together and I've come into a cafe to do that. I am definitely nervous to meet people in Korea now just because I feel like my Korean has gone backwards and I don't know I'm definitely feeling quite nervous but excited at the same time but I just feel like <sighs> scared to be judged on how bad my Korean is at the moment hey Hi. this is my first friend that is oh. meeting me in Korea and she's taking me to this restaurant what kind of restaurant is this? So it's called Sogam Yono. Yeah. There's no name here. But it's <laughs> and it's like uh, Pyongyang Naengmyeon Jjim. Okay. So it's a cold noodle originated from Pyongyang, North Korea. Ready? Ta da! -da. Wow! Good <laughs> <laughs> that. What's popular? This is the most iconic one. Yeah. So we'll get this too. Yeah. And then maybe we can get something for a side. Yeah. Like. Oh, probably we got any chicken, ah, mando or pindetto, whichever you want. This is what? Wow, they give you hair time. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, this is naengmyeon, right? Which yes. Is it cold? It's cold. It's cold noodles, right? I mean, it's a hot day, so we need to have a cold noodle. <laughs> I keep on having like hot soups, like shabu shabu and kimchi jjigae. And this is dumpling. Yeah, it's a dumpling. Yeah, it's a dumpling. Yep, thank you for the hand. Yes, Making dumpling. us focus. Yep. <laughs> so we have waffle. I got a vanilla latte. And what is this? Korean plum um, um, juice. <laughs> Age? Drink. That's what it is. <laughs> Fermented Korean plum ice drink. <laughs> is so hot in Korea. I had to change into a t-shirt as soon as I got to my sister's house 
and now she's just putting the baby to sleep so I'm just chilling by myself and it's been a really nice day I definitely don't feel like <laughs> as comfortable I can't even speak as comfortable in Korea as I used to I kind of feel mentally handicapped like because I just feel a little bit hesitant and behind like anxious is not the way to put it it's more like nervous that I'm gonna you know look dumb it's, I don't know it's hard to describe it's like you know if you go to another country and you are fully foreign then people understand so if I went to like France and I can't speak French I feel like people do understand that but when you are Korean and you understand Korean where you're kind of 80% 70% fluent maybe even 60 then I kind of feel like it's a lot harder because you look Korean but you're not fully Korean you know so I'm struggling with that a little bit but it was so nice to see my friend and I had a really nice time oh she got me a wedding present let me show you so this is what she got me and I think she said it was for cooking oh no it's cutlery wow wow that's stunning thank you so much we have ordered in food tonight and apparently this is like some sort of rice bowl like rice bowl mix and you mix it yourself which is very strange i don't think i've ever ordered anything like this but my brother-in-law right now is kindly making the rice bowl <laughs> so this is i think steamed chicken but it's a kind of soy garlicky flavor which is delicious and it's called jinta in korean it is another day over and i'm walking home now and yeah just spent the afternoon and evening hanging out with my sister again so i'm sorry if there's not much in this vlog but i've had like a super good day i don't know what today's vlog is going to be like but i will vlog again when i'm home because there's quite a lot of people around and i'm still not 100 confident in vlogging in public so I said that I would be less sweaty in my next video, hopefully, and uh, I don't think that's possible. Like, people did warn me about the humidity of Korea, and I was like, yeah, it's cool, like, I've been to hot countries before, I'll be fine. A sweat is, like, dripping from my face, and I feel like my makeup is just, like, so clogged, and my skin's gonna get set back into acne because of the masks here, but at least I've got my chocolate milk. Anyway, I just wanted a little chat. I feel like today I've genuinely thought something which is how important like independence is so obviously when you get into a relationship it can be quite easy just to sort of get carried away with that and I feel like that was something that I used to do a lot but the older I get the more I realise just how important my friends and family are to my identity and it's been really nice to be in this Airbnb by myself of course I miss my husband <laughs> and he's gonna join me soon but I also think it's just been really nice for him to have his time to do his work and see his friends and it's also been really nice for me to do the same and I genuinely feel nourished and I hope that I can nourish all of my friends too I hope they feel the same way and I hope that when people do meet me they do feel re-energized I've genuinely had a really nice day today so I feel like it's another successful day and yeah it's quite difficult to be so confused about where would give me the best quality of life. I feel like living here would be really good for me and I'd get to see my family more often and stuff like that. But also I knew that basically if I would definitely want to make that a reality, I would make that happen. I don't think I'm a cop out. I feel like if I want something to happen, I'll make it happen. So the fact that I haven't already means that I haven't been sure. And I'm still not sure, of course. But yeah, I'm tempted. You're probably like, what the hell is she going on about? But it's just a friendly chat. I just don't do many vlogs for myself anymore and these series, the Soul Diaries, as I've decided to call them, just been for me. Something that videos that I can look back on and be like, yeah, that was a good time. So I'm really enjoying myself and I do think it's really important to have that time to myself and nourish and feel nourished by my friendships and family. So that's today's lesson. Right now I'm just going to clean the room a little bit, settle down, take all my makeup off chill out and edit then go to bed so i will see you for day four tomorrow bye